Mike, AskCoachMike.com. I'm going to share with you now one of my favorite, favorite drills. And it came from one of my favorite podcasts with an NCAA coach. It was a long, long time ago. Four or five years ago with Coach Cottle when he was in Maryland. Um, just loved Coach Cottle's philosophy on the cross drills. And we took his lacrosse drill here and added a little bit of a twist. Now, um, I may alienate some of you, and, and let me buffer that right now. Um, I really think that most ground balls in today's game scenarios turn out to be a one-on-one -on -one battle. We don't spend a lot of time, although some college coaches do, I have to be honest with you, we don't spend a lot of time on 2v1 ground balls or man ball scenarios. And the second primary reason for that is that in today's world, I think a lot of referees that perhaps didn't play lacrosse or are super, super sensitive to the threat of injury, which I certainly understand, okay? Um, if we're banning a, a guy within five yards of the ball so our teammate can pick it up, we're drawing a flag. We're getting an interference flag, we're getting a push, or if we've made body contact and knocked him to the ground, even though it was clearly within a yard or two of the ball, that player is now going to the penalty box. And to be honest with you, um, after 35 plus years of coaching, being 59 years old, I think this is the way the game is going. So we have kind of modified the way we practice the important element of ground balls to more of a 1v1 scenario, relying on yourself to box the player out or get the ground ball. Um, I got this drill originally from Coach Cottle. Um, I love it. Uh, we've added a transition element. Those of you that know me or have coached with me or against me, understand we're all about transition, right? We want to get the ball and get it moving in the air. Ground ball, pass, pass. Ground ball, pass, pass. Ground ball, pass, pass. So this drill starts as a three-man ground ball. But this is not the traditional man ball drill where the kid gets it and Johnny beats on him and the ball rolls into the parking lot and they're wailing on each other and the coaches stand there and 18 players are bored. This is a drill that runs extremely fast paced focuses on a one-on-one -on -one ground ball. So here we've got three lines of players. Shorties, poles, middies, attack. Um, I don't put my goalies in this drill unless they're wearing arm pads, okay? Uh, but anyway, the coach is gonna gently, keyword gently, roll the ground ball out. Each of these players is competing for the ground ball. Now in a game, you're competing against a player from another team. To prepare you to be successful in that endeavor, what we're going to have you do is compete against two players for that ground ball. So it's every man for himself here, okay? These three players are trying to get the ground ball. As soon as one player obtains possession of the ground ball, he immediately looks up. Now, between the box and the midfield line, we've got a line of two or three players here. As soon as he looks up, this player breaks, and we are now making a... 15, 20, 25 yard transition pass to a player breaking up field, simulating us getting from one end to the other field before the other team has a chance to react. As soon as this player starts to break, this player starts to break. So here we pick it up, we gain possession, we get our hands free, we bang the ball in a pass. You'll constantly hear our coaches yell, look up, move it, look up, move it. We're gonna move the ball to the first transition line here, he now immediately is going to make the second pass to the second line of transition players moving up. So now we've gone 80 yards in a ground ball, two passes, okay? Now, here's where the drill gets fun. Our kids love this drill, and I can't figure out from the life of me why. Let's say that X1 here attained possession of the ground ball. X2 and X3, they tried hard, but they didn't get the ground ball. So they probably need a little more work. So now, immediately, they have to return the line, and they roll again. Now it's a 1v1 ground ball with two players. Same thing. If X2 gets possession of the ball, he looks up. This player has now gone. This player has now gone. And we're making two transition passes. What happens to X3? Well, X3 didn't get the first two ground balls. We're going to give him a chance to work on his skills to become even more successful. How cool is that? So now, X3, we're going to roll the ball out. He's going to be the only player, and he goes. As soon as the first pass is made, the players that didn't get the ground ball quickly, quickly run back, 
and we roll the ball out. So this line moves extremely fast. And then we're going bang, next three, boom. One guy gets it, come on back, bang. Come on back, bang, next three, and off we go. And uh, as soon as you get the ground ball, you are now going to this line. You don't have to get back in line, you have one. And as soon as you get the ground ball, or as soon as you get your pass here, you go to this line. Now, if you're coaching by yourself, here's an aspect of this drill that is really, really cool. And when this guy catches a pass, he has to run all the way back here to the coach and drop the ball at his feet. So now you always have enough balls as a coach running this drill. If you're like me, and you've already got four buckets of balls for every practice, now we're going to let this player that has caught the second transition pass, if he caught it in the air, only if he caught it successfully. He now is going to sprint down the field. We're going to put a goalie in here, because like I said, we may not have the goalies in line. We're going to put cones out here, 12 yards, right? Just outside of time and space or time and room. We're going to let him take a one-on-one -on -one shot from the outside of the goalie. He comes back and gets in line. And this whole thing just continues to rotate like this. 1v1 ground ball to 2v1. 1v1 to one man ground ball, all with transition passes. You'll be amazed at how this will get your players looking up. A lot easier to play offense in this end of the field when you're in transition. Hey, love you to death. Special thanks to Crossover. Special thanks to you. Lax Coach Mike, LaxCoachMike.com. Come see us on the site.